Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, Mr. Chairman, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm very happy to attend the fifth edition of the Pulses Conclave. As a farmer myself, we have grown the red and green uh, lentils and also the green and yellow peas on our farm back in Saskatchewan. The Pulse Conclave continues to be a world-class event and I look forward to building new relationships here today. As the Agriculture Minister for the province of Saskatchewan in Canada, part of my role is to advocate for the pulse industry in my province. Many of you already know how important agriculture is to Saskatchewan's economy. Pulses are a critical component of Saskatchewan's agriculture industry. Nearly half of Canada's total, total cultivated farmland is located in the province of Saskatchewan. As a result, agriculture and related activities make up about 10% of our gross domestic product and account for more than 40% of our exports. Despite challenging conditions, the 2019 crop was on track to be the second largest on record at more than 37 million metric tons. This includes 10 million metric tons each of spring wheat and canola, 2 million metric tons each of dry peas and lentils, and 225,000 metric tons of chickpeas. The strength of our 2019 crop shows Saskatchewan producers are very resilient. Although our population is relatively small, we are a provincial uh, population is just over 1 million people. Saskatchewan plays a key role in global food production. In 2018, our pulse industry exports valued at $1.8 billion uh, Canadian. This is a major contribution to the world's pulse market. In 2018, our province produced nearly half of the world's lentils and over one-third of the world's dry peas. However, we still have the potential to grow and export more. That includes exports to India. I recognize the challenges faced by Saskatchewan producers and are, and are very different than those faced here in India. Part of building a strong agriculture indi, er, industry is making sure producers have the tools, the technology, and market access they need to grow and sell their products. Domestic crop production can be very unpredictable. Any disruption in market access has long-term effects on global pulse markets. A transparent global trading system benefits everyone, from countries like Canada, who mainly export, to countries who are importing agriculture products. Science-based rules are necessary to ensure that we have a consistent and predictable trading system. Consistency and transparency in trade is critical if we want to achieve global food security for our growing population. Clear communication, especially on tariffs, is critical if we are going to improve trade relationships. The government of Saskatchewan is pushing the government of Canada to use all tools possible to strengthen the global trading system. My job is to ensure Saskatchewan producers have access to the markets they need to do their business. Our pulses have been exported and consumed around the world. The global demand for pulses and pulse products has been increasing. We're seeing pulses in a range of products such as uh, cookie flour or Asian noodles that use pulses to increase fiber and protein levels. Since 2017, China alone has imported 40% more yellow peas from Canada. We are seeing growing demands in the Middle East and in North America. We see the importance of establishing new relationships with top pulse markets, which is why the government of Saskatchewan has undertaken many trade missions in the past year. Other recent missions include trips to Mexico, Singapore, Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong. In addition to my time here in India, I also spent time in Bangladesh and the UAE this past week. 
Strengthening Saskatchewan's relationship with import markets from around the world will always be an important part of my mandate. Our own pulse market at home looks very different than it did a few years ago. Saskatchewan and Canada are capitalizing on new opportunities and moving up the value chain. Good pulse ingredients make good products. While Saskatchewan res residents only consume a fraction of what our farmers produce, we too are looking at adding more pulses to our diets. Huge industry players are looking at meat alternatives in North America in creative ways. Tyson Foods, North America's largest meat producer, has now entered the plant-based protein market in their new brand. Beyond Meat, a plant-based meat manufacturer, recently went through the best initial public share offering in nearly two decades by an American company. Our pulse sector has attracted global pulse ingredient manufacturers to do business throughout Western Canada. Value-added pulses are a key contributor to this sector and we are seeing tremendous growth in the province of Saskatchewan. Our goal is to process 50% of our pulses domestically. While this may be ambitious, I am confident this industry will continue to grow. Part of our confidence comes from one of Canada's five initiative superclusters housed in our province. Protein Industries Canada, or PIC, is an industry-led organization that seeks to make Canada a global leader in plant protein. PIC works with companies to leverage innovative research, business relationships and partnerships to help grow companies, improve products and gain access to markets. It is this type of innovation that Saskatchewan is being recognized for. A few months ago, our government released its, pl its own plan for growth. In this plan, we mapped out our own priorities for the next decade. Many of these targets touch on agriculture as well as trade. And some of those highlights include increasing our crop production to 45 million metric tons, increasing livestock cash receipts to $3 billion, doubling our agriculture value-added revenue to more than $10 billion, and doubling Saskatchewan's agri-food exports to $20 billion. We plan to achieve these, these ambitious targets by 2030. For this to become a reality, we have some work to do. Many of these targets look at increasing our production. It is, it is important industry growth is pursued in a sustainable way. One of the great things about pulse crops is their nitrogen fixing abilities. When putting pulses in the crop rotation, no nitrogen fertilizer needs to be used, greenhouse gas emissions and energy inputs are reduced, and soil biodiversity is enhanced. Saskatchewan farmers have been on the cutting edge of adopting sustainable management practices for decades, and one that's very, very uh, used widely in the province of Saskatchewan is zero-till. We believe this is part of what makes us competitive and allows us to grow. I spoke earlier about the many international markets where Saskatchewan agriculture products are consumed. We value our relationships with India and believe it can be even stronger. As part of our plan for growth, our government is committed to opening three new international trade offices. One of those will be right here in India. Saskatchewan is committed to India for the long term. We remain a strong partner in helping you meet your food security needs and ensuring no citizen goes hungry. Pulses will continue to be a big part of that story. I want to thank you for your time here today, and I hope you have a very successful conference. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for the deafening applause. One more time, please.